What's up guys, it's Jacob and today we're going to be ruining another choice based game with terrible choices. The game does start off kind of slow, but believe me, it does pick up pretty quickly. So stick around, watch the whole video, and I promise you won't regret it. So something unique about this game is that you can actually play this game cooperatively. Unfortunately, I don't have friends, so uh, I'm just going to be playing by myself. Oh cool, I begin the game drowning. How many stars are on my backpack? I was supposed to be paying attention? I don't know. Uh, six? How'd you know? It's because I'm a genius. When do things start going really poorly for our cast here? Why are you guys acting weird again? Because we hate each other. Who is this old man and why is he getting in our car? Grandpa? All this time, I thought you were my grandpa. <laughs> and he's got schizophrenia. Now I gotta take care of some mentally ill old man. <laughs> Oh wait, so I have the music off, so they're pretending to sing along to a song that isn't playing. So apparently the family here is in trouble and Vince had to settle, do some settlement paper. They haven't given us too much detail, but we're, this isn't a decision that we want to make moving to New Mexico or whatever. Oh shit, look out! Oh god! <laughs> No, I don't think I will swipe. Uh, and another thing I did to make these little cutscenes a little bit more awkward is I uh, increased the quick time events uh, to a long time event. So I have plenty of time to make a decision here and actually save the family, but I'm not gonna. Oh, are we gonna die? <laughs> oh, no, somehow we're still on the road. Mash? No, I don't think I will. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, I could have killed an entire family of four, and I just did it without caring. Dumbass Vince. Learn to drive. Oh great, a good Samaritan. If you me Learn how to drive, asshole! Are you kidding me?! Oh, now I'm playing Steve as the the pickup- the, the kids way. in the pickup truck that just called me an asshole. I like these guys, so I'm gonna continue making poor decisions with these dudes as well. Luckily we are in the neighborhood, and I don't have to deal with that stupid idiot family that just almost got themselves killed. Just like we talked about. There's enough cash in that safe to put the last few weeks behind us. So we're robbing someone's safe? We're doing a classic B&E? That's cool. Why don't we just get jobs? I hear DoorDash is hiring. Whoa! Does Ma know you took that? Oh yeah, just commit a murder in a breaking and entering situation? That would totally go well in court. The code. Jay can read! I can- I can read? I don't, don't think I can read. <laughs> Swipe up. <laughs> Oh, it's not gonna give me the option. Okay, there we go. Good at- Oh, here's Cletus, the dog. Talk to the dog, sneak past her throw stick. I'm gonna talk to him. <laughs> Hello, doggy. Good boy. Good little Cletus. Good job. I can't believe I convinced the dog to shut his mouth after <laughs> climbing the fence like that. Whose house is this? Dante Romero. King of the pigs. We're robbing a pig? Oh, the sheriff. Oh, okay. So, we're not only breaking and entering into a house, you brought a shotgun that is probably unregistered, and you're willing to kill a cop and rob a cop for, what, instead of getting a job? You millennials are wild, man. We ought to fuck this place up a little while we're at it. Sure, honestly, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's vandalize the place, too, while we're at it. That's brilliant. All right, we're looking for the safe. Search his wallet, I guess. He left his wallet. Told you he's an idiot. Why would his wallet be here? Then he's gotta be home. Why? No way a man would leave his wallet conveniently on the on the table like that. No way. <laughs> I'm gonna take the money out of it anyways. Mm. He took yeah. his gloves off to start Maybe. eating peanut butter out of the jar? Is this guy an idiot? And he's stealing fridge magnets. What is this game? And who are these protagonists? Hey, come here. Help me get a little payback. Oh, he's pissing in the bottle. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> That's brilliant, actually. I'll do that. Oh my god, they're peeing in his two liters. And Dale's what? peeking. Pervert. We are terrible people doing terrible things. Oh my god, someone's home. Oh my god, and I walked in on her. So what do I do? Knock her out? Oh, we're gonna be left on a cliffhanger there? Are you kidding me? He just walks in without his mask on. Says, literally says hello. What an idiot. No. It says patience is a virtue, but I'm gonna ring the bell. I don't believe in virtues. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, ring bell again. <laughs> I'm just gonna be a complete nuisance to this poor guy. Oh, hello. That'll be 70. <laughs> Cash only. 52? That's enough for one room. One room, talk to the manager. I could be an asshole and ask to see the manager. Talk to the manager. I'm sure we can and find- And what a... makes you think you're not talking to her? Hey, do I know you? 
Nah. The guy that offered to tow my car just recognized my grandpa or father. I don't know who I'm playing as here. He's probably a drug dealer or local meth head. Are we on vacation now? No, we're not on vacation. We're moving to some shithole. I'll stop if you let me watch my show. No, uh, tell her no. I'm just gonna be an asshole. Why not? All right. Oh, a crossroad. Choose carefully. Now, Jim's got this weird thing going on and how he just got recognized. The wife's not gonna be uh, happy about that decision, so... Yeah, it's just another poor decision to make. The grandfather Jim here hadn't seen Vince's son in a long time and actually just kind of reconnected with him in the past few months. Know the worst part about living with, with having this tumor in my head? What's something... I'm just gonna bring it out in the open, facing death. <laughs> I'm gonna ask why he abandoned our my mother and I for 30 years to get high. <laughs> I'm gonna ask him why he did it. I, I, I don't want to be sick in a hospital. I want to be around family. He wants to move in with my family. It's not a good idea. You should feck off. You were right. It's more than I can fix with duct tape and a socket wrench. Yeah, no shit, dumbass. Oh god, what's happening? On the ground, now! Oh, what? It's it's these kids. Why are they robbing us? I thought they had the safe. Uh, get on the ground? No, I don't think I will. No. Oh god, 30 minutes earlier at the sheriff's house. Okay. You don't need to call for help. Hopefully she's a mute. Oh, come on. <laughs> Explore. Uh, yank, help button, run. Uh, what are my decisions here? I was gonna run. <laughs> yeah, she can call for help. What the hell was that? Doesn't matter. We need to hurry. Jay didn't even tell his brother that he just got caught and that there's police on the way. All right, well, I guess I gotta find the safe now. What about the bookcase? I'm really taking my time here too, by the way. Not that there's, you know, police on the way or anything. It's chill. Yeah, bird watching. That's cool, man. That's really cool. Ignore the police or whatever's showing up. Bird watching? Now that's cool. Oh, this idiot dropped the code. I believe I remember what it is, but it's five... 926. I'm curious what would happen if I just, you know, didn't type in the code at all. But then again, stealing whatever's inside, incriminating myself further, so. Mmm, and that would be a very poor decision. I'm gonna open it. Yes! Okay, <laughs> I opened it up. Oh god, the sheriff's home. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Shit. Oh yeah, walk right in the front door, don't put your masks on, just pretend like nothing's the matter. Oh, and you, uh, you tripped your alarm again, by the way. Oh yeah, totally by accident, I bet. Come out with your hands where I can see them. How about I shoot you for breaking and entering? That would be a good idea. Fight off the sheriff, or run to the door. I'm gonna fight off the sheriff, you know, the guy with the gun held to my brother. Oh, 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 it didn't give- oh, no. <laughs> There we go, I just knocked him out. <laughs> I'm curious what would have happened if I failed to knock him out. <laughs> Poor Jay, he was freaking out. <laughs> now we're robbing this motel. We're not here to hurt you, we don't even want your wallets. We just need a place to lay low until we can be safely on our way. You guys have all this cash. Why didn't you just walk in and just get a room, you dumbass? Joyce the manager has a gun too. Cool. <laughs> yeah. She means it, bro. <laughs> I don't know her very well, but I think she means business. You do that, I promise you'll regret it. He said that I'll regret it, so I'm gonna point it at him. Who just walked in? Oh, hey, Jay. <laughs> We're just being held at gunpoint. Oh my god. He just hit her. And they just got the guns back. <laughs> uh, now we're back at square one. Shut it up. Now. He's a dog. He doesn't have an off switch. Well, I mean, a gun is kind of an off switch. What if we just shot it? Wasn't breaking the Kasdan boy's jaw enough for you? Don't you start with me. Uh, Joyce is getting started with him. Oh no. Shoot her. Shoot her. I'm gonna let Joyce be an idiot and I'll just quiet the dog down. That sounds like a good idea. Shit. Uh, oh no, the dog's getting away. <laughs> now he's running away. Oh shoot the dog. Oh my god, he kicked the dog! Oh my god! Dale's a psychopath. Yeah, Joy shut her mouth real quick after that. Yeah, uh, I don't think I will actually. I'm just gonna try and piss off Day or Dale as much as possible. Ow! I guess that was a poor decision to make. Who else are you traveling with, huh? Uh, just my dad. Oh, I, oh, I could have said the circus. Hopefully Michelle or Zoe walks in and they shoot him. Why don't they just check the other motel rooms and shoot my wife and kid? <laughs> That wouldn't be a bad decision. Paul, how's things? Slow as usual. Ash is at a friend's house for the night. Uh, hide evidence or leave evidence? Okay. I'll hide it. I guess it's a poor decision to side with the crooks. So, 
Who else are you traveling with? I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna just say wife and kid and just lie to him. <laughs> oh, Vince, you dumbass. <laughs> oh, he heard that for sure. Anyway, we're looking for three idiots who broke into the sheriff's house. Any idea who it was? Nah, they covered their faces so they uh, wouldn't be recognized. Oh, is that why? Oh, Jim, you idiot. Oh my god, the wife What's and kid going? just showed up. Oh my god. You know, I lied to Tyler, the guy with the gun. Vince, what's happening? Fugitives on the loose. I'm just gonna continue fucking up everything. Help. Uh, yes. I'm gonna get myself shot. Suspenseful music plays. Oh, someone just got shot. Oh no! Holy shit! He shot the cop! Yeah, he already regrets that decision, you dumbass. You lie about your family? And try to get us caught? Yeah, I'm making uh, poor decisions. Oh, and he just hit me. Oh, now he's gonna beat me. <laughs> and I'm gonna let it happen. Hey, Zilly, you wanna see something cool? You wanna see your old man get beat up? Daddy, no. Hey, Michelle, grab the gun off the cop that All just got shot. You can go to hell, yeah. Hopefully he'll just shoot me. That would be funny. I'm going to jail after this. When you finally die there, you're going straight to fucking hell. Uh, no! Oh wait, the Michelle try to. Oh, oh, Uncle Ray's summary. I value peace. And I'm a quick thinker, though I didn't make a single quick time event. Well, I think that's enough poor decisions for today. If you enjoyed what you saw and you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Leaving a like as well also helps out a ton. I always love to hear you guys' feedback, but in the meantime, check out some more of my content here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.